still has the best. So, um, it depends That's on the moral how of the creative stick. you are nice. and how uh, much you're yes. willing to adjust your lifestyle. Most people are very you flexible. Win -win? You win -win? She, she, she did it. You and win -win? everybody's grown and That's happy it. and win -win? family stayed together. Banana? She's actually divorced now. She's got a new boyfriend. Boy. Who's wow. also very creative. I just went to... Yeah, thank you. Sticky. The sticky thing. Ah, that's the red thing. Oh, it looks like a carrot. Question, any questions to begin with? Like, look, who is this? This is baby. Hi. The highest macaw. The largest macaw of all the macaws. I wish there are very few left because we're losing them rapidly. Because? <coughs> How come? Human uh, excesses. Things like most people are not. Hunting yeah. for sport? Not or hunting for the, for the food? Uh, hunting no. for sport or hunting for the food? And a lot of these birds left <coughs> to see. This is a critically endangered bird. <coughs> <coughs> Whatever he does. First of all, high five. <laughs> Thank you. There's the other foot. So shake hands with one side, high five the other, in case you didn't notice. Um, this is a very hard nut. Hard nuts are not optional for parrots when you have them in captivity. So this is a mac nut. What a birdie. Did you that Wait a second, does he have an opposable thumb? No. Okay, he just has a claw. He's going to touch his tongue to my finger. Tongue, tongue to the finger. Tongue, tongue. Thank you. I love that. Thank you. That feels so good. I just love your tongue. It's a very nice tongue. Yes. All right. I do have a special place for him to sit, but I usually carry him in my armor. That was a bounce with a little wing-wing. And here he doesn't open his wings and flap them because a hawk or an eagle could be hidden in the tree overhead. Oh. come down and eat him, so right. he doesn't do it. In the open sky, <coughs> with nothing in the sky, he will flap his wing. So that was a bounce and a little wing-wing, but I want wing-wing. That was a good little wing-wing, tiny wing-wing. Thank you. <laughs> he does talk. They are, yeah. Oh, highly corvids, all corvids, which are crows, ravens, uh, starlings, smarter than parrots. Okay. Possibly. What you about know, the raptors? they haven't done all this much research on stuff. Yeah, this yeah. little girl is Bilbo. In the wild, they mate for life. And even in captivity, of course, they mate for life. If they fall in love. But you have to provide, for instance, I would have to give her a dozen boys to look over. She might like one of them. That one might not like her. So it's very complicated. They have to choose. She ha lived with a man, her last owner, and she, uh, he was single, and she loved him like a lover. And she flew free in the house, <coughs> and he laid, she laid eggs on his t-shirt for him. <laughs> he was a professional musician, so she had a great life. She sat on his shoulder and danced all day long while he composed music. And, um, then he met a woman and fell in love with a woman, and the girls didn't make it. And uh, she, she, she won, because Bilbo was very aggressive, and this happens a lot. You don't want your bird to see you as a significant other. Therefore, you can't pet your dog or hug your husband or your wife. They're jealous of everybody. And so this woman <laughs> couldn't get in the house, literally. So I call, she called me, and I said, uh, buy a cage, have her wings clipped. Um, during the week, he can, the same routine, but then on the weekends and at night, the bird could be in a cage with her wings clipped. And the, um, I think the new, the new wife wanted him all to herself because this man and this bird were seriously bonded. That's really sweet. And the man has spent huge amounts of time with the bird. And the, wife, the new wife wanted all his attention and affection, so it didn't last very long. Different bark. And that's a protest bark, like, how could you? <laughs> anybody ever, anybody, as soon as a new baby arrives, they have to get rid of the parrots? Sometimes. Yeah. 
quite often. I talk to a woman in town. I talk to a woman in town. Yeah, no, I do. I do too. Because we were thinking of St. Um, Augustine. Um, Baby Blue is good, huh, you sweetie? You like smiling? You like bright teeth? I won't. Yeah, don't I have him. Like I mean, he he's probably, he won't want to go back. He wants you want to go come back? back. You do ring ring? See? I think they get it right when they say that. When I hear three more. She steps up and moves. Mm -hmm. Somebody, I suspect. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, nice. I love that color on this. It's so pretty. What's that smell? Um, it's from the Victoria Store. Um, it's busy. Why is it that? Why is it that? Working for the office. Also, for good safety. She deserves to be beautiful. That's their downfall. People buy them because they're. So, what I'm here to say, and why I do this, and I'm forgetting what I'm doing here, is to say this is that um, we want people never to buy a bird, always a dot. Never get one unless you really know what you're getting in for because it's like having a six year old for the rest of your life <laughs> that never goes away to school. We, we, um, I took a friend of mine.